Low Zip Tech was new product and it's with only and it's the high runner bone conduction earphones. So, a little backside with Sony is that they have been engineers and designers for the past 10 years, 10 years who have provided ODM products for some brands you might know, some you may not, and now they kind of branched off to make their own. So, in the last two years, that's what they've been doing and they have created the Wisson, Wissonly brand. So, that's pretty much it. And they go to say that they are very strict with product feature and never settle with product quality. So that's a little bit of a backstory to them. So these are designed for swimming, running, riding, cycling and mountaineering. This is what it's like in the back. See www.wisley.com And you have all that stuff there again. The colours it will come in and the product parameters here on the side. So it's called the Wissany High Runner Bone Conduction. Bluetooth version 5.0, 230 milliamp hours and 12 hours battery life. 10 meters distance, you have 32 gig memory size and 30 grams weight. So let's have a look. So it's a simple white box and plain. And you are presented with the product like so, which is pretty nice looking. So if you're not familiar with these bone conduction headphones, you've done quite a few now here on site. These don't go into your ears as such, um, they kind of rest behind. Um, that's the way they work through bone conduction and that's pretty much what this new tech is and what they're aiming to do with it. And that's how they work. So this does not fit into your ear, but rather goes around. And you'll have this piece on one side and this piece on the other. And you can see you've got your controls there. And that's basically how they work. They're really simple. So we have some accessories in the box. Let's have a look and see what they are. As we do not know, this is only a new product. Okay, so you get a little booklet. And you get this kind of toy here, and you get your proprietary charger. Another thing I have with the same watches, these a lot of these bone conducting headphones come with proprietary charging that needs to change. Plenty of room there for USB C, but that's just the way they are at the moment. Um, so if anyone's watching, and they're all watching, USB C, please. Same for watches, same thing, just ditch the proprietary charging. So that's your cable, you can't lose it, if you do you're in trouble, as there is no other option to charge your device apart from that. So it's a one cable that does one job and it's for days. So you can see you've got the branding on the side there and it's clean on the opposite side and that's how they look. And you've got your buttons there which are raised as you can see and that will control your tracks and your music and all that kind of stuff but we'll go into more about that when we're testing them out and review them. And let you know how they actually sound as well as it's a different kind of sound experience than your typical headphones or earbuds so we're going to take them off and take them out then we'll tell you how they work and what what they sound like and we'll see you after break and we'll go into more detail about what features are inside as well and the construction and all that kind of stuff hello it's jim and we are back with the Wissenly brand bone conduction Headset or earbuds or earphones, or whatever way you want to call them. So, uh, this is what they're going to look like. We'll put a picture in there on you. But, um, yes, I've tried several of these, and some have sounded okay, some have sounded not so okay, but these actually sound quite good. Now, you can have them close to your ears, or you can actually fold them or place them over your ears if you want, and you can get even more volume from them um, if you like. Because they wouldn't be the loudest, just sat as normal as the way they're supposed to be. But they're, they are loud enough, but me, preferably, I like really loud. But you can manoeuvre them around to suit yourself. But you can actually just let them sit over the ears, and they are quite loud, which is quite good. So, that's basically the idea behind these as well, is protect your ears. And they do that like any other bonus conduction headset. So, you've got... Adjustment inside by an acoustic laboratory and you have a fully enclosed sound ch chamber. There's no leakage either The IPA waterproof as well, which will work 20 meters underwater and that's pretty cool if you like to go swimming 
or stuff like that. Now we came preloaded with some songs on it, which was pretty cool. Um, that was nice. So it's got 32 gigabytes of memory, so it can store up to 5,000 songs. So you got a, an MP3 player on your head, if you will, um, or you can just stream for your from your phone, whatever the case may be. But it was a nice thing to have songs preloaded, so it could get testing straight away, which was nice and pretty cool. I like that effect as well. So that was nice to see. You're going to build about 12 hours of battery life. Um, you know, you're only limited to so much with volume. You've no app or any other option like that to control your EQ unless you have one on your phone. So all that works pretty fine. Two hours fast charging as well. And of course, you've got your waterproof and dustproof built in. 30 grams. And they reckon they've done 100,000 bend testing days. So they don't deform them. They haven't deformed them me in the past couple of days testing them out, which is fine. So that's pretty much it. And the Bluetooth is fairly stable as well. And that's pretty much it. So, yes, I did say about this, you'll need to keep this. So it'll pop on here. The magnet's fairly strong. You'll see the charging light coming on there. To let you know it's charging and you can transfer your songs there and then the rest of it really is down to the music so you have your controls here which you would have seen in the unboxing part earlier on which are nice easy to navigate and easy to use you've no access to your um voice assistant uh calls are actually quite good it? which was a surprise and it's all done from here from there on in so the middle button you'll press twice to change between your source. So that'll be your phone or the onboard memory. And you'll just press it twice and it'll swap over between either. So that's nice and handy to have as well. And then you've got your skip and reverse tracks here and your volume and oh, higher and lower. So I'm going to just show you now on the phone um, what it's like and play and pause. So we press play. You've got your volume up and volume down, so the volume's going down there, so the volume's going up. So you can see it there on the phone, like so. You also get voice annotations as well when the volume is up and all that and we're turning it on and off, which is pretty nice. So just a long press it to skip a track, like so. Like that. And you can go back down by long pressing this side here. So that's basically it and how they work. There's nothing to it. It's really simple to use, which is really nice. And you're going to be wondering how the sound is. Now, the sound is quite good overall in general. Um, it'd be kind of a mid-tier kind of sound. If you're talking sound-wise, you have, you have good mid-tier and really good um, if you just want to simplify it. It's not as bad as you might think it would be because they're not physically in your ears. That's the point I'm trying to get across to here. And overall, they're pretty nice and pretty easy to use. And again, you'll forget they're there after a while on you too. They are very, very light. And that's really about it. So just get rid of the phone. And that's all you really need to know. And that's how they work. And they sound pretty good. So... Without getting into the specifics, the technicals, as we always do, kind of like you've got your highs, lows, and mids. It's kind of, kind of, it's well balanced and kind of mid range. And you've got there is a nice element of bass thrown in there as well. So it's kind of mid across the whole board. And they're not bright, and um, they've kind of a deeper tone to them. And for me, that's fine. Everyone has their own sound uh, preferences, but for anybody who's just looking for a pair of these, even to go jogging or go to the gym. Anything like that, these are ideal, and the leakage is you can there's no leakage on them either. Um, which I might point out because people will be wondering how can you hear this and no one else hear it, but they don't, you can't, and that's just putting it simply how they work and how bone conduction technology works. And they're really nice. So, for someone that's into their fitness, running, jogging, or anything like that. Or even just walking, you'll still have your awareness around you as well, which is a good thing. And overall, pretty decent sound out of these. So I'll drop a link below to where you can pick them up and you can check them out. And thanks for watching and thanks to the company for choosing those here in Ireland to test these out for them. And we'll talk to you in the next video. And thanks for watching and we'll see you again.